Am I the asshole for not inviting my pregnant sister-in-law to Thanksgiving? If she's the most picky eater of them all, no, you invite whoever you want. But if it's for something that is way more petty, man, I mean, it's Thanksgiving. Like, you're just breaking family for the fun of it. I, 33 female, hosted Thanksgiving this year. Every year it rotates between me, my sister, and my brother's home. It's a pretty big gathering that normally involves my sibling, their partner, my sisters, kids, and our parents. Fair. Um, this year, my brother James and his wife Becky are having their first child. The baby is due in spring. Okay. We have a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Watch me parade, play games as a family, couple drink together in the evening. The usual stuff, the same things every year. That's fair, like basically they have their own routine. This year, a couple of weeks back, I get what is basically a list of demand from Becky in our family group chat. She wants to come, but her pregnancy means some things needs to be adjusted. Our rules were no paltry as the smell makes her sick, no alcohol as the smell makes her sick, and she can't join in. Okay. The food needs to be served early as she needs to nap during the time it's normally served. And she doesn't want to play the game as she tires easily. So we can just listen to music slash talk in the evening instead. Well, I'm sorry, Becky. But you're uninvited unless you are able to, like, deal with that. Who? I don't care how important you think you are. If you think you can fudge up everybody else evening because you have special need. And I get that you are pregnant. If you were just saying, like... Is it possible for me to have any other option than the paltry? They would probably fix you a little something. If you would say, like, I will not participate in the game because, like, I'm getting tired quickly lately and I will just let you play, that would be super fine. But then, she's not asking for the things to be fixed for her. She's like, oh no, I'm pregnant. So all of your fun got to change now. You know? It's my fun. Um, That is the most important. I'm gonna have a baby, and like there, you're pushing it too far. So, um, I was really upset by this. Firstly, none of us are vegetarian, so I don't really know how to prepare a turkey alternative. But secondly, I already ordered the turkey and it seems like a waste. And not to be able to drink, eat when we want, or even play our game in the evening, just feels unreasonable. When nine of us won't get to celebrate in the way we would like to. In the family chat, I replied and said, while I would make her a non paltry meal and would make sure people don't drink at the table, I wouldn't ban paltry alcohol from the house and I certainly wouldn't be not playing our game. Particularly as my niece and nephews are now old enough to join in and really loved it that last year. And I totally agree with that. This is what you do with that. Oh, James and Becky said I was being unreasonable and that she's pregnant, so I need to be more understanding. got life in my belly so i'm important let me be a princess for this whole year i mean lady my mom joined in and said it's not hard to accommodate but i was really annoyed by this point i told becky she wasn't invited and if she can't accept any compromise whatsoever james called me and separately to say and told me separately to say i'm excluding her and ruining their thanksgiving and she can't help how she feels during her pregnancy I said I wasn't excluding her. She's welcome if she can accept that Thanksgiving has to work for everyone else too. In the end, neither Becky or Jane came over. It was weird. It was a weird day without them, and I'm sad they weren't there. But I feel like I wasn't unreasonable. I do make amends. But am I the uh, asshole? She's not the asshole. She's absolutely not the asshole. Like you don't understand how much my wife splits in four to deal with the fact that she has to deal with a baby every night, even though she's eight months pregnant. Like. She's doing all that she has to do. She does not even ask for... Well, I ask if she wants something special for food or anything. But, like, she barely asks for anything. I'm not sure if you understand that, like, being pregnant does not make you special. Like, it's great that you are. And we should accommodate a few things. Like, my wife's computer is on the first floor because when she's pregnant, she's always... Everything's hot. And it's always hotter on the second floor. So, like, I, I rang down her computer so that she could be in a more 
well-tempered area, you know? Just normal thing that you can do to accommodate the person in her own thing that will not fudge up everybody else's life because she is special, you know? She is special, but not for that reason. I love her. So, Becky? Man, she has the most Karen name after Karen. Becky can go to hell in that situation. You're not the asshole, OP. And I have no care if Reddit is not agreeing with me because she's pregnant. But like, we know that this time Reddit will go for not the asshole. Exactly, she wants her own Thanksgiving. Organize it, lady. With your own specification. You're special, do your stuff. But pregnancy means some things need to be adjusted. When? When? Yeah, okay, that's a sil sister-in-law. Your sister is a pregnant Scylla. I didn't know that was a concept, but clearly this is. Clearly this can be. Let's go back to that. And let's catch up with your commentary, people. Um, do -do -do -do. Pregnant lady wants to be nitpicky at everything. Karen. <laughs> and hello again, by the way. Joey, Joey, I'm still waiting for you to like, give me a game show so that I can send you like a list so that you can pick a price. So, no, you're not fantastic like this, Kim, but you should be, clearly. Bring pregnant, pregnant, make you a flesh mech. This is the best way to see that. And definitely, lacks of missile shooter, though. You guys are going on a tangent here. 